The other day, as, as things usually go at our house, um, at my computer working, and Joy's sitting over on the couch, and she's reading her Bible. And, um, and then she was reading something the other day, and, and she stopped me, and she said, you, you got to hear this. And so she was telling me about what she was reading in Genesis, and it's uh, the story about Abraham, Abraham and Isaac. And um, I'm not going to read it to you because it's, it's a lot, the offering of Isaac. But anyway, I have one little verse I do want to read. And Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Okay. So there are so many similarities in this passage of, of the offering of Isaac of, from the, the thorns in the thicket when the lamb, I mean, the ram was caught in the thicket mm -hmm. um, to bundling up the sticks that uh, was going to be used for the fire and that uh, Abraham gave it to Isaac. And it just all just, she was telling me this and it all just melded in together and um, had, had, had an impact on me. And a um, strange thing too is, is that uh, as I was thinking about what to talk about today, because this is what's been working in my heart. Um, and I think of this, this, this passage as every Father's Day because I, I just I can't I can't grasp it. Sure. It's just right. it's so hard to to get a hold of uh, that and the prodigal son. Both of those just sure. it just blow me away. But but um, just thinking that God will provide, and as we were singing uh, just a moment ago yeah. with uh, Thy hand hath provided yeah, and. Right. Um, you know, working in my life now is that there's so many different things uh, going on in our lives, and everybody has things going on in their life. That's but, right. but you know, um, when you parallel this, this, these verses to the gospel, and it just, it just is amazing to me that it was, it was back in those days in the Old Testament and then it came to pass and um, knowing that God will provide if I just seek him first Amen. and I've got to have the faith sure. and, and hope which is the confidence in him because he will do what he says he will do um, so um, coming back to, to joy um my wife, Joy, that is. Um, I'm so thankful for her because um, I forgot what year it was. It was 96, 97, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, one morning, um, I had to go to our church for something, and I don't know why Joy was with me. I can't recall that. But I do recall being in our pastor's office, and I remember... Um, dropping down on my knees yes, and, yes. and accepting Jesus Christ as my Amen. personal Savior. So and, uh, and I'm so thankful for that God has provided me with a loving, caring, wonderful wife yeah. that is so gifted with mercy. It's yeah. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And she just, um, through the last 41 years, um, this past November 7th, um, she has put up with, dealt with, endured, <laughs> persevered through me, <laughs> and uh, I just um, am so thankful to God for her. Um, for that alone is, is way, way a whole bunch, but she always had faith that somewhere along the line that I would come to know Jesus in a personal Amen. way. Uh, when I <clears throat> grew up in church, um, uh, I did not grow up in a Baptist denomination. I'm not going to name the other one, but most of y'all know it anyway. But uh, I never heard the word saved yeah. growing up in, in church. And, and Joy kept the faith. We got married, in, uh, and I was not a, a, you know, a saved believer. 
and so uh, and Joy never never faltered, and she consistently and faithfully helped me and guided me, unbeknownst to me. Yeah. Uh, and then then one day, um, after I fell on my knees and we were all crying and whatnot. And then I was uh, baptized the same day with my son. Amen. And so that was a glorious day. But um, what I'm learning is forgiveness through our Bible study class sure. on Thursday mornings. Any men that would like to join us, 7 a.m., it's an I-Go Coffee. Mm-hmm. Put in a little plug there. But uh, we've got a great group, and, and, uh, and those men have, in the last year and a couple of months, have encouraged me and guided me and helped me so much in learning more about God and uh, his word. And Amen. so that's what's going on in my life Amen. and what I'm thankful for. Thank so happy Thanksgiving to yeah. all of y'all. And now I'm going to turn the podium over to my wife. Uh, first of all, I, I promise I didn't solicit those nice things that he said and I, I really appreciate that I don't have any money to give you but anyway um, uh, <laughs> don't go there but anyway, um, thank you all so much for coming tonight uh, it, isn't it a blessing to be in God's house right. and yeah. you know that Wade is exactly right we had it, it's, it's, it's really funny funny he's got such a great sense of humor don't you but um we both were thinking about sharing about this abraham story and so anyway um so i have have kind of gone to plan b (laughs) and the thing is is i i'm I, I told Andrea in the uh, made a little joke in my reply to to Andrea. It's like I've got so much to be thankful for. Um, it's gonna be hard, and so but I promise I'm gonna make this short. Um, I I uh, did I just hear you say good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, That's good. Do whatever you want. I'm kidding, but anyway, um, but. What I've been praying about and thinking about is I do have so many things to be thankful for. We all do. Sometimes we just need to pause long enough to think about it and realize when you're in the muck and the mire and you're doing this, trying to climb out, and guys, I know a little bit about muck and mire, and um, um, it's just... We are so blessed. Those of those that are God's children, those that know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we are so incredibly blessed. That is what I want to share with you guys tonight Amen. is about how I am so thankful for the body of Christ. Amen. We, we are members, every one of us are members right. of the body of Christ. Sure. Every one of us, and every one of us, even though a lot of times we can't see it, we mm. can't see what we may have to offer, mm. we can't see where we fit in to that body. What can I do? I'm just me. Mm. But God has blessed each and every right. one of his That's children right. with, with gifts and talents. You're a part of that body. Every part, like it says in the, in the Bible, every part, the ear, what would the ear be? Mm-hmm. With, we can't all be in here. We need a nose. Yeah, sure. And we need other parts of our body to make up that body in every single one is so important and i'm thankful for you all i'm thankful for hardin valley church um i'm telling you when i'm listing my blessings um, and i was talking to mother today about this when i'm listing my blessings hardin valley's way up there and and even greater than that 
is the greater kingdom of God that go. we are all a part of. Yes. So anyway, I said I'd make it short and sweet. Mm -hmm. That's it. But thank you all for bearing with Amen. me.